Welcome, Gemini, all my beautiful twins. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the week of May the 13th to the 20th, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, but most of all, subscribing to them. Please ring the bell button. Click that bell button beside subscribe and you'll get notified immediately when these go out on YouTube. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. <clears throat> every single card will not resonate with every single Gemini out there. But if it does, run with it and throw the rest out into the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, then click that little icon in the right hand top corner of this video and it will direct you to my website where you can see the services that I offer. Also, all information is below this video. Yes, I am still doing the pay it forward limited time offer of $30 for a 30 minute reading. If you want to get a second reading with me or gift it to someone, get in before the end of May because that's when this expires, the end of May. You can bank it and have a second reading with me at your convenience at another time. So get in there while you can everybody because time's running out. All right, my beautiful Geminis. <clears throat> Let's see what our all over energy here is. I'm liking this Gemini. You've been given the chariot and the chariot is all about a beautiful, beautiful, important achievement that you're about to make or you're in the process of making. You need to pat yourself on the back because it's only because of your own self-discipline and your own willpower that things are working out in your favor. Now, I do see that maybe this has to do with an endeavor, with a project, with a passion of yours. You're stepping out. You're doing something almost publicly. You're getting, a, you're getting recognition for the efforts that you've been putting out there. This is amazing. You may be out there on YouTube. You may be out there, you know, networking. You may be out there in the public eye, uh, in, the, in, in the actual uh, physical world. But whatever you're doing, you're going to be able to get public recognition for it. And I want you to pat yourself on the back. Because it was only because of your own, like I said, self-discipline discipline and willpower that you've been able to get out there. Now, some of you may also be able to be going on a vacation or you're taking a trip. Whatever it is, you'll be riding on many different kinds of vehicles that have wheels. Beginning of your week, you've got a great card. Oh my goodness, Gemini victory. And I mean, we've been talking about this now for months. That you, you know, it's taking time, but you're going to be able to taste the victory. You're going to be able to get good news. Good news is coming. It's on its way. Okay. Uh, and again, they talk about public recognition. It'll be like public recognition for you again. You may have, it may be good news to do with time, effort, or money, uh, where you're going to be able to have the resources to do and the time to do what it is you want. Uh, and you'll have the money to be able to handle it. So, you know what? There's going to be good news coming into you. This is a beautiful, beautiful card of positive energy and gifts. You got, that was the six of, of, of fire. Now you've got the seven of fire, and it's the seven of wands. And, you know, as you know, wands are all about new growth, moving forward, taking action, and going in that forward direction momentum and this is all about you standing up for yourself i do see you may have had some struggles but you know what victory is coming in and you may still have some disputes and some struggles during the middle of the week where you have to stand up and defend your beliefs and your decisions and stand your ground don't let anybody rain on your parade gemini you're pretty strong don't let anybody else come in there and determine your happiness or try to uh, knock down what you've created so choose your battles wisely though when you're having any kind of a, uh, a debate or uh, a, a heated discussion with anybody in the middle of the week you're cutting through all of it this is your gift this is the ace of swords this is dealing with anything justice is going to be served uh, you, you know, you've had your struggles, but you're hanging on strong and look what's come out from, from the clouds, from heaven. This sword has come out to defend you. It's almost like Archangel Michael's there by your side. I do see that there's going to be some new ideas coming out. This is all about the beginning of things happening for you. This ace of air, ace of swords are the beginnings of things. And this is moving forward. This is cutting through the red tape. This is getting down to brass tacks and dealing with the situation at hand. <clears throat> now, I'm see, I do see that you're going to be getting some information that will have to do with the truthfulness coming into you. And, and you know what? You're, it may be a bit challenging. Aces usually are in the beginning, but and it is the swords. It could have to do with the justice issue. But I do see justice is going to be served because it talks about brilliant new ideas and inspirations that are going to help this to come to fruition. Okay. <clears throat> so, the main thing is you need to pat yourself on the back. 
for standing your ground, okay? Victory is going to come, and here you have it, right here. Cutting through the red tape, cutting through all the legal red tape, getting down to the, the you know, the root of the issue, dealing with it, <clears throat> so that, you know, this is going to happen here. Wow, Gemini, that's pretty good. Nothing comes easy. <clears throat> I know that. Nothing comes easy for you, Gemini. But stick to your guns. Don't back down. Let's see what we've got here with the Lennerman deck for added extra energy for this reading this week for you. <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. All right. We need three cards, please. Give me three cards, please, for my beautiful twins. There's one. Thank you very much. I need two more, please. Could you give me two more, please? Two for my twins. Two for my twins, please. Two for my gem. Here we go. I need two. Thank you very much. There's one. Just give me one more. There we go. Thank you very well. <clears throat> there's my two. Okay. We're going to shuffle again. You've got one. You've got two. They gave me one too many. We need one more, please. Just one more. <clears throat> there we go. Thank you very much. See how they come forward for me? I think it's amazing. Okay. So we have the well at the beginning of the week. You know, this is about delving into situations, information, doing your homework, digging deep, going down that well, making sure that you find everything that you need to find out about a certain topic, a certain subject, a certain thing that's going on in your life, a situation. So <clears throat> go deep, my friend, go deep. Don't, don't just deal with the surface issues. You've got to go right to the, to the bottom of that well to find out what's going on uh, in any situation in order for this, uh, this beautiful, beautiful victory card to come through. Be careful when you're having this dispute in the middle of the week here or, you know, therein. Uh, the energy around you, someone is coming in, they wear a mask, they're not always honest, they come in. This is kind of like the, uh, the sheep and wolf's clothing. They come in and they say something and then they turn around and you find the truth out about them. So <clears throat> this person may be the one that's coming in to pick a little bit of an irritation with you and a little bit of a... A little bit of an argument with you but choose your battles wisely defend yourself okay you'll be able to cut through this and see this you got this beautiful card at the end when we got the ace of swords we talk about new inspiration things coming into you in, in, inspiring things coming into you and uh, you're going to be able to see the truth in a situation and this is it it's coming in the form of a message so it could be a letter it could be an email it could be something that's coming forth this is a wonderful message this is a message of goodness a message of abundance, a message of happiness and, and success, because it also talks about the message of truth here. So this is getting down to the truth with this Ace of Swords. <clears throat> Let's see what we have, my beautiful gems, for your angel answers. So this is your answer that you're getting from your angels right now, and it's letting go. This is telling you that you need to let go of things or something. The time has come to let go of this situation. Any situation that you've been carrying around with you that you really don't need to be lugging around, stop focusing on how or when it will be solved or even why it occurred, okay? Relationships that are unhealthy or an unf unfulfilling should be released in order to allow something better to come along. Don't worry. God and your angels have everything under control. A key aspect to manifesting your desires is to ask for what you want and then to release it to heaven. Send it out there. Throw it out in the universe. If you've drawn this card, you may be holding on too tightly to the way your dreams will unfold. Make a wish, my darling Geminis, and then leave the rest to your angels. Beautiful. Let it go, gems. Don't carry it around. It's weighing you down. Go take that wheelbarrow and dump that shit off the edge of the cliff. You don't need to carry it anymore. Okay, you've been given this beautiful final card, this beautiful final card called Creative Wonderment and Following Your Passion. Gemini. Okay? Look at that beautiful card. I love it. You are able to bring a fr to fruition something within your imagination that you alone have thought of. Being creative is relaxing and therapeutic, whether it's cooking, sewing, woodwork, photography, writing, or art. Whatever it may be that stimulates your imagination, this is the time for you to create and inspire others. Utilize your skills, take classes, and follow your passion. You will one day have the opportunity to turn your heartfelt creativity into your life's work. Create your labor of love. Well, Gemini, I see a lot of you are out there doing this right now. Your job that you're going into now, maybe a new sideline gig that you're involved in, is your passion. Stick with it, okay? Because it's creative. It's creativity within you that you're bringing this out. And I do see that you are going to be able to share it with others out there. 
uh, very soon or you already are and this is even bringing you more lavish abundance within yourself at your soul level as well well my beautiful beautiful Gemini's this is your week you know pat yourself on the back you're going to see the victory coming in you had to dig deep to find out and be careful of someone who you know doesn't always uh, come on as honest as you think they should they wear a mask they're not telling you but you know what you're getting this beautiful message of a truthfulness coming in. Justice is going to be served. I do see that, you know, things are going to work out in your favor. Wow. And you know what? Let your creative juices flow. It's amazing. It's amazing. And let the past go, okay? Don't allow anybody to hold you back. See you again soon, Gemini. And know that I only stand in this circle of love and light for you always.